Town office and going to talk about how to read in data from the LIDAR and then visualize it in a uh, visualizer. So we're in the conference room right now, and here is uh, David and Alexa, and I'll angle the screen down so we can see our LIDAR unit. This is our Atlas dev kit, um, which you may have read about. And you can see here that the VLP-16, the LIDAR that we have mounted on our dev kit, is mounted at a 30 degree downward facing angle. And the purpose of that is for us to get a better view of the ground plane and um, surrounding area of the vehicle when the dev kit is mounted on top of the roof of the vehicle. Um, but as you can see, I just put my sweater underneath the dev kit to sort of level out that angle a little bit so we can get a better sweep of the room here. Exactly, yeah. So I'll pan around the room a little bit more. You can actually see in the corner there's a door um, that's clear with a window, so that'll be interesting to look at when we look at the, the point cloud. And then I'll turn to the other direction. There's Jane. And you can also see a TV screen and a window looking out on the, on the street. So have opened the Velodyne user interface here. So the LiDAR is set at an IP of 2.201, and the, this computer that I'm working on is 2.222. Um, and here you can do some configuration stuff, like changing the um, rotational speed of the LiDAR. Um, so right now, the LiDAR data is coming over the network. And we can actually look at that here in Wireshark. And I'm going to click on this, which is the the Ethernet. Uh, so I'll click here, and we start. We're going to start getting UDP packets, and I'll stop that. So we just got a very short snapshot from the lidar, and I can save it as I'll do demo two. Save that, and then I can go over to here where we have the I've cloned our repo CM how and I will make clean and I will make and this will make a test script so here's what it was before and can run it so it so I'll run that output.txt it opened up the PCAP and then saved to a text file called output.txt. And if I look at just the first few lines of that, you can see here is, here's the X coordinates, Y coordinates, Z coordinates. These are all in meters. And then the reflectivity, the intensity. And there's another, there's a tool called Cloud Compare that can read in these text files and then visualize it. Um, so this is actually a previous previous scan I can, um, that we just did. And you can see here the red is the 000. zero, zero. Um, so this is the origin. This is where the LIDAR is. Here's the table. Um, behind me, you can see these three transparent parts of the window. Um, and then you can also see that door that I mentioned earlier, the glass door. And there's maybe, I think this is a conference chair, another conference chair. And then you can look out, and that's actually the TV screen. And then here is the window. So because the window, these windows are transparent, the LiDAR actually just shoots through it, and we don't get a return. Or we, we get a return, but it's from a very far distance away. So that's about it. Thanks.